So in these Trades of the Week videos, I like to go through a bit of a mix of different time frames and markets just to show you the sort of the flexibility you have with trend signal and the indicators that we use. So just starting off with really um, US oil, so uh, NYMEX uh, crude. Um, basically a market that a lot of people trade now and actually it's really been rotating very very nicely some lovely swings there and really great trades and actually one started just a couple of weeks ago here um, just on the 23rd of April and uh, the trade was sort of picked up and hit target on Friday um, sorry yesterday rather moving up really nicely the classic sort of change in direction trend was up on US oil as well so very much a market we're looking for opportunities to buy in anyway and then we see those indicators then having that next upswing Sniper circle highlight, highlighting the trade also giving you that opportunity to get in here as those indicators turn from red to green. Very clear, very visual, um, giving you a lot of confidence about getting into that trade. Rather than a lot of strategies where you're trying to use a lot of discretion and if this and then, and then that, you know, this is very clear and very visual to give you that confidence there. Market moving up to that pivot point. Just stopping a little bit there uh, today. So really, really nice move there on US oil. So that's a move from uh, sort of 89. That's basically, you know, about sort of 800 points there. Significant move um, and, uh, you know, very, very good profits for those users that got on that trade. Moving through to the DAX, you know, again, a market that's been rotating very well off the daily charts here. Again, a very strong uptrend. So really looking for those opportunities to buy. Uh, able to get in at the close of this bar, opening of this bar on this one because of the extent to which the market is in an uptrend. Really nice move and again that sniper circle really highlighting very clearly that uh, change in direction on that short term chart off the dailies monthly trends very positive looking for those opportunities to buy it seems difficult buying um, these markets all the way up here doesn't it but that's the trend and that's how we teach people to trade giving us a buy in this sort of 76 67 area here we are now nearly 8200 massive move and significant profits there at least 400 points profit there on that trade pound a point that's 400 quid 10 pound a point well that's four grand isn't it very very nice move indeed if you're able to get that on that with the trend signal charts Next, we can look at something a little bit different. Um, looking at the four-hour chart, you know, those other two trades at the beginning there, moving on to target very, very nicely. But what about some of these sort of slower burners? Now, euro yen is an opportunity here um, as we get try and get in around the sort of 127.98. We're looking for prices to come up to around the top of the price envelope here, around the sort of 130, uh, 30 area there or so. The way we generally trade here at Trend Signal is we like to put a stop loss below where the market's just been. We use the top of this price envelope as that target area. We generally like to wait for prices to get there. Why is that? Because we like to allow the markets to do what they're supposed to do. We identify trends. We look for the right entry opportunities in line with those trends to give us that confidence there. So even though prices pull back relatively quickly, it doesn't take out our stop. So we remain in the trade. And here we go. Price is really messing around a little bit, quite honestly. Nice little spike up there, top of the price envelope hit, and another go up to our target area there. Uh, so that was on Friday, uh, the 3rd of May. So again, culminating in a really nice profit there. The great thing about trends in the way in which we teach you to trade is to try and detach yourself away from this chop and really how the market gets to your target. How it gets there is almost irrelevant, quite frankly, if you're picking up trades in the right direction. And that's what one of the biggest focuses is of Trend Signal. Get the direction right, then look for trades in that direction. It's going to give you the best profits and the best chance of success there. And also allows you to maximize your income on those trades. So rather than getting chopped out here, is it a little red blip, little red blip here, little red blip here, and so on, all these things are almost irrelevant once we're in the trade. Once we've got on the right trades, how it gets to our target zone doesn't matter. We just want to stay in it and get the maximum amount of profit as we can there. So really, really lovely move there. This is now a four-hour chart, guys. So we're looking for less pips here than on a, on a daily chart. But this is still a good sort of 200, 230-odd points there on that move. Really, really nice profit. So moving through to um, dollar Swiss, again, a market that's been rotating very well. Again, a four-hour chart. So for computer-based workers, this is a great um, time frame to be looking at, holding positions for a day to three days. Again, market moving on here from sort of 92.76. This is when the indicators are changing direction. This is a classic sniper trade, aggressive, a bit of a scalp trade. But even if you go a little bit later, buying at 92.89, 
really nice risk reward looking at um, targeting this sort of area here this sort of 93 95 area so you're looking at picking up at around about 100 points there and maybe risking about 50 so that's a two to one trade so your objective is pretty much twice that of your risk and that's just the sort of thing you want to be looking for and watching prices then moving up very quickly on Thursday last week and then up she goes and hits that target zone very very nicely indeed nice moves really um, and here we are a little bit further continuing to new highs as we move into this week it's now Tuesday of course a bank holiday uh, and uh, on the weekend just had but target hit yes it was a little bit funny on Friday wasn't it non-farm payroll there really messing around prices a tad but ultimately you know what it got up to that target zone and profits very much taken there so a good hundred points there taken there um, with a risk maybe just over 100 points in actual fact with a risk of about 50 it's a really nice trade finally just looking at the intraday time frames we do a lot of these trades on our trade of the day email uh, messages so don't really want to talk about intraday too much but what's quite interesting here is an opportunity on sterling dollar you know we don't generally talk about support and resistance too much in these videos but again you know, one of the things I do like to look at are these little um, numbers here, 154.78. The prices retest that level there. We can see here, what we're seeing is price hit it, stop. You see that failure there, spiking it one, two, three, four times. Market then bounced, rallied. That then led to that change in direction, the change in the colors of those indicators from red to green there, giving us that confidence then to buy. We've hit that green support line, leading to green indicators to give us that opportunity to buy there, entering. 154.90 stop loss here 154 what 72 or so so we're looking at risking about 18 points my target zone 155.21 so we're looking at possible sort of 31 points risking about 17 so just shy of two to one market getting on gathering steam and getting up there really really nicely indeed it's about how you're looking at the charts there following some very simple principles but putting it all into practice and that's what we teach people here at Trendsill News and the strategies and the tools that we trade with uh, every day. Uh, thanks for listening guys, hope you enjoyed it.